Hello, Northern Ohio Diecast here coming at you tonight. Um, this is my answer to Rat Black's Diecast Show Your Red Cars for Valentine's Day Challenge. Um, I just seen this video when I got home from work. So I thought I would do it. I thought it was pretty neat. Um, so I guess we'll start it. Um, we'll start with this here. BMW 850i, the Getty promo car. Got the I've got the original little thing that this came in back then with the sleeve, or not the sleeve, but the uh, paper that would be, would have been in there. It's not an opening door version, but it is a black wall, and it is mint. Next, I've got a SN95 Mustang Cobra from Matchbox Premier. Matchbox Premier was one of my, as a child, it was like one of my favorite collections. Loved this series from Matchbox. I wish they'd bring it back. Except for bringing it back, but where the wheels aren't, like, sticking out from underneath the car. Because these had, back in the day, some of these cars had really wide wheels on them. And they'd stick out from underneath the car. But, I mean, these kind of do. If you look at the front of that. But they're not as bad as some, like the Lamborghini Diablo from the same series. Next, this is a Corgi casting. This is a BMW. Yes, another BMW. I believe that's a 5 series or it might be a 3 series. I want to say it's a 5 series. Kind of like early, late 80s, early 90s BMW. <clears throat> it's just escaping me what kind of what BMW this is. I think it's an M5. It's got a sunroof in it, but it's alright. It's all metal. Next one. I look at another Lamborghini, but this one is Hot Wheels. This is the uh, Tony Pro, uh, Tony's Pizzeria, or yeah, Tony's Pizza promo car. It don't say anything on it. It's got the bag. I've still got the bag that says Tony's Pizza, so I know what it is. It's got a tan interior, tinted windows, dark tinted windows, these wheels on it, which I love. As a kid, I hated these wheels, but now I love them as a collector. These things roll so nice, and I, you know, I didn't realize it back then. That's mint, minty, minty, mint. I paid a dollar for that at a a uh, antique store I go to. Next one. This is another Premier Collection Matchbox. This is a T-Bird Turbo Coupe, probably late '80s, early '90s. I want to say. This is another one that I like from Matchbox because it doesn't really, you know, the, the wheels don't really pop out from underneath there. It's got your license plate lensed rear tail lights in it. I, but I think the uh, main line for this also had a lensed tail light in it. You got the detail up front. You got the bird there. Two tone interior. These things were like the. Uh, like what, um, I wouldn't want to say like Auto World or Green Light, but are today, but there really ain't nothing you can compare this to today, other than, uh, matchbox wise, other than the uh, Collector's Series. And those are about the same. Next one, this is another Premier Collection. This is the Audi Avis Quattro. Pretty sweet one. Um, I love Audis. And this concept. Not a lot of people like this car. I love it. Absolutely freaking love this thing. But... I kind of think having this roof like this, it'd be like a greenhouse effect 
if you sat in this car for any long period of time, you would cook. Next one's a, that's a custom. That's a, that's a custom I did quite a while back. I don't ever, I don't think I ever put it on YouTube. But this is not tampoed. This is painted. I still need to do headlights, but. I did that stripe on the top in paint. No, that's not a sticker. That's not a water slide decal. That's actual paint. Except for I don't think I should have continued on down the back. I think I should have stopped there. But oh well. It's still, it's still a pretty neat one that I did. Considering it was my first one of these that I actually done. It's kind of these tuned things. I thought it came out pretty good, to be honest. <clears throat> Next, this is a, another Hot Wheels, but this isn't a custom. This is a 63 Plymouth Belvedere 426 Max Wedge. Another awesome car. Awesome muscle car. Back in the day, everybody thought these were just Granny's grocery getter, and they ended up on a drag strip, but that's how most drag cars came to be about, was cheap little grocery grocery getter cars that Granny you figured Granny would be driving, and some kid would get it and hop it up and run it on a drag strip. That's what I'd do now. as a kid. That's what I wanted to do. And you got this, um, I think this is a 49. No, it's a 52. 52 Chevy. It's a wheel swap. No custom paint, except for that I did the headlights on it. Got a little custom bike in the back here. It's red too, but you can't really see it in the light. It's because it's like a red chrome. Move to this side. Front end. I wish they would redo this truck with a bumper. That'd be nice to see, but it's Hot Wheels. Or a Matchbox could do it, I guess. That bike does not want to stay sat up in there because it's not made for it. We'll just set that over here until we're done with it. Well, it's, these cars are a little dusty. I haven't dusted in here in a while. It's probably one of my favorites that I've done in a long time. Well, wheel swaps wise, anyways. The next one we're gonna look at this is a 55 Chevy metal on metal from 1983 82 83. Of course, it's you know, I think these are the hot ones because the, one, the, the ones that were on the Lamborghini were the ultra hots, I believe. 55 Chevy Fever. I just got this in a uh, big box I bought off of, off of uh, eBay a couple weeks back. That's why, I mean, the paint's all chipped, kind of chipped up on it, but it's still, you can still see what it is. And got some flames on the hood going on on the hood there. And it says 55 Chevy Fever on it. Still rolls like a dream. After, you know, almost 40 years. Uh, next one I got. This is a 97 Vet. From Hot Wheels. Red with the gold lace wheels. It's got like this kind of like etched um, Hot Wheels logo in the plastic there. It's pretty cool. I got a matchbox version of this that has a metal base. It's a heavy son of a bitch. This is light compared to that other one, or compared to that. <clears throat> the next one I got, this is a Racing Champions 96 Viper GTS. It's got the opening hood. As you can see that big uh, V10 in there. When this car came out, when this car came out in 90, I think it was 91... You're looking at 450 horsepower, which back for the, back then that was crazy. That was more horsepower than you were getting out of any car back then, except for you know Europe, some European models. It's got the uh, rubber tires on it. 
metal base, some chrome on them uh, exhausts. Really, really sweet Viper. I know this isn't true to 1 to 64, but I absolutely love this this uh, body of Viper, the OG body. Next, this is a 61 Impala. It's from the Fast and the Furious. I've got a wheel swap of this that's pretty sweet. I thought I'd just show the uh, unmolested, uncustom version of it. Um, God bless it. It might wasn't so shaky today. The uh, what are them things? The torque thrusts on it. But everybody's seen this one, so we'll move on. Next one, this is an Auto World Shelby GT500 Super Snake Carbon Track Pack. Or, yeah, Carbon Fiber Pack. Carbon Fiber Track Pack, I believe. Not too good with these newer Mustangs. It's like this uh, Ultra Red Red, but it's not an Ultra Red. It's a pretty sweet Mustang. Love that thing. Next one I got, this is a Shelby Collectibles 06, no, 08, 2008 Shelby GT500 Super Snake. If I had to own a newer Mustang, this would be the car. This is my favorite newer body style of Mustang that there is. I love this car. I had the chance to drive one of these one time. Unfortunately, I had other things that were more important to do that day. It wasn't a Super Snake Edition, though. It was just a GT500. But still, this has uh, the uh, opening doors on it, too. Lensed headlights and taillights. And I know yeah, the seats don't move in this, but the interior is pretty uh, detailed. I need to really be handling these with some gloves on. Getting fingerprints all over these nice red cars. I don't know if you can see that interior, but. <clears throat> and we'll end the video with this custom van. Custom Matchbox van. That I did quite a, about two years ago. It's like this matte red with... Uh, satin red with uh, these chrome Maisto wheels on it. it rolls really well I might be putting this one up on eBay first person that gives me 10 bucks for it they can have it but that's it as always, stay safe, be kind to others, and good luck hunting. Peace.